Okay, I want to shift gears and talk a little bit about Catherine Magbanawa. May I have one moment, Your Honor? Take your time. When did you, how did you first meet Catherine Magbanawa? I met Katie uh, in the summer of 2013. She started working the front desk of the dental office that I worked at. And uh, what was that dental office? Where was it? The name of the office was Sophie Dental, and it was uh, in South Beach. What did she do for the dental office? She was the, the front desk and office manager for the office. How often would you work in that office? I was there, I'd say, every three weeks. I was there for half, what, half a day every three weeks. Was that office a big generator of income for you? Um. It was one of my better offices, yeah. Now, you said you met her in July 2013. When did you first go out with her? We first went out, it would have been uh, first week of October, around October 10th. And who initially pursued who? I, I pursued her. Why did you ask her out? Katie was really cute. Um, she was friendly. Um, she went to the same. She actually graduated from UCF, also different different time, but she graduated from there. She was she was a really smart girl. I mean, she was extremely smart and uh, and witty, and, uh, and that's why I pursued her. Once you went out with her, did you learn that she had two kids? I did. <coughs> Now, initially, did you learn anything about her ex-husband? No. I, the only thing I knew is that she'd been with somebody for about 10 years uh, and that she was now single. After you dated her a couple times, what did you like about her? Well, and aside from the initial things, what attracted me to her, was she was she had a very busy life also and my life was so busy it was hard for me to be in a, re a relationship where someone wanted to go have dinner at five five o'clock and sit, hang out with me a couple of days a week so she was she was working full-time had two kids so she was fine seeing me once or twice a week and we, we both had very little time now you said that your first date was sometime in Early October 2013. Yeah, it wasn't even a real date. We just went and had dinner. There's a restaurant in the building, and we finished late, and I said, you want to grab dinner? We ate at the, at the building. Did you ask her just two weeks later if she could find someone to kill Professor Markell? <laughs> no, not at all. Did you have a Halloween party with her or go trick-or-treating with her and after the party say, hey, uh, do you know anyone who can take care of my ex-brother-in-law for me? No, absolutely not. Now, back to the relationship. Over time, did it become more serious? Over time, you know, in the beginning, it's always like you're just trying to see who each other is and then... As time went on, she wanted to get more serious. I'd say probably by the springtime, by probably around March, she started asking me. Now, did you consider her to be your girlfriend, though? She was my girlfriend, yeah. Uh, did you consider yourself to be exclusive? After the first three months together, yeah, for sure. Did you ever see a possibility of marriage with her? No. I didn't. During the time that you dated her, how often, and let's, let's, let's be clear, we're talking about now the beginning of 2014. Right. So let's keep it far away from July. During the time that you dated her, how often would you communicate with her? We, we talked every day. When would you talk to her? I'd call her when I was in the car driving to, to work. Um, we text throughout the day, and uh, and then I'd always talk to her at night time. 
Where was she living at the time? She was living in, in North Miami, Miami. And again, you were living in the same place in Fort Lauderdale? Same house in Fort Lauderdale, yeah. How often would you see her? I would see her once a week. Sometimes every once in a while it would be twice, but I would say more often once than twice. And when you saw her, what would you typically do? We'd go to dinner, um, hang out, watch a movie, um, hang out at my house. Um, Did you have any relationship with her children? No, I, I met her children on one occasion, May, maybe twice, but definitely no more than twice. Did she go to family events with you? Um, she did meet my family a couple times, yeah. She met your sister how many times, if you recall? Two times. And how many times do you think she might have met your parents? I would say probably maybe around eight times, okay. eight or nine times. Was she a patient of your dad's? Yes, she was. We're going to get into this in more detail later, but let's be clear right now. Did Catherine Magbanua ever work for your dad or for you at the Adelson Institute? No, never. Now, I think you alluded to this a little bit earlier, but as time went on in 2014, did she want to be more serious? Yeah. And what did you think about that? I, I liked the, the way it was. I mean, it was it was good in the beginning. My life, I wasn't looking to change it. I was still in that workaholic mode. Um, but she started asking me, you know, what are we? What are we doing? At the time that you <coughs> met her, and I want to talk a little bit about your knowledge of Secreto Garcia now. At the time that you met her, to your knowledge, she was single, right? Yes. And I think you testified that initially you didn't learn anything about her ex. Nothing, other than she was, she was completely single. She was done with him. I want to show you defense exhibit that's not in evidence. Yeah, proof, Your Honor. You may. I'm showing you what's marked for identification purposes as Defense Exhibit 34. Okay. Please take a look at it. Are these text messages uh, between you and Catherine Magbanua on? November 27th at 2.13? Yes, they are. Judge, I'd move in Defense Exhibit 34 at this time. Response? Hearsay, Your Honor. Please approach. These text messages, are they a true and correct reflection of your messages on November 27th, 2013? Yes, they are. Judge, I'd move in Exhibit 34 at this time. Any further objection? No, Your Honor. They are admitted at this time. May I publish? You may. Now, uh, you see the, the timing is in military time. So it says November 27th at 13.42. We can agree that's 1.42. Yes. 
Katie says, my ex knows about me. I'm pretty sure I, I know how he knew because he even knows your name. Do you see that? Yes, I do. And you say, do I know him from my past? Do you see that? Yes, I do. What are you asking Katie here? Um, I have no idea who who her ex is. She's saying he knows me. So I'm I'm saying, does he? Do I know him? 